Hey there, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to channel for mastering Salesforce without writing a single line of code. I'm in Kem, and today we're tackling a crucial aspect of Salesforce administration, creating new users and allowing a user to delete accounts. Whether you're aiming to streamline your user management or ensure the right permissions are in place, this module is packed with everything you need to know. In this module, you will learn how to create new user profiles tailored to specific job roles, restrict delete permissions to designated users, set up login access policies to enhance security, assign and manage user permissions using permission sets. By the end of this video, you will be equipped to efficiently manage user access and permissions in your Salesforce organization, ensuring that your data remains secure and accessible to the right people. Imagine you're in a high stakes security and data access review meeting with your CEO and the executive team. The first item on the agenda, ensuring that all users have the appropriate object permissions for their job roles. Meet John Wiseman, the CEO, who wants to make sure users have access to the objects they need to excel in their roles, but restrict the ability to delete records to just executive users and the support team. Enter Noah Larkin, the VP of Services, who needs temporary permission to delete accounts as part of a record cleanup initiative. Your mission? To create a secure and efficient permission structure that meets these requirements. Let's dive in and see how you can make this happen. Throughout this module, we'll follow along with this scenario, ensuring that each step you take aligns with best practices for user management and data security in Salesforce. Walkthrough creating new users and managing permissions. All right, let's get started with the hands-on walkthrough. We'll begin by creating a new profile without delete permissions, and then move on to setting up login access policies and creating new users. To follow along with this walkthrough, click the button below to launch the playground and practice these steps yourself. Launch Playground. Let's dive in. Step one, create a new profile without delete permissions. Navigate to setup. Click the setup gear icon in the top right corner of Salesforce. Select setup from the drop down menu. Great. Now that we're in setup, let's head over to the profile section to create a tailored profile. Access profiles. In the quick find box on the left, type profiles and select profiles. Profiles define the permissions and access levels for users. Next, we'll create a new profile based on the standard platform user. Clone the standard platform user. Click the S from the alphabet picker across the top to quickly navigate to profiles starting with S. Find and click clone next to standard platform user. Cloning an existing profile ensures we maintain a consistent permission structure while customizing it to our needs. Name the new profile, enter standard profile. No act delete as the profile name. Click save. Naming your profiles clearly helps in managing and identifying them later on. Adjust object permissions, click edit. Scroll down to standard object permissions. Deselect the delete permission under accounts. Click save. By removing the delete permission, we ensure that users with this profile cannot delete account records, aligning with our security requirements. Step two, set login access policies and create new users. Navigate to login access policies. From setup, enter login access policies in the quick find box and select Login Access Policies. Configuring Login Access Policies adds an extra layer of security by controlling who can log in as other users. Enable administrators to log in as any user. Select the Enabled checkbox next to Administrators. Can log in as any user. Click Save. This setting allows administrators to troubleshoot user issues by logging in as them 
enhancing support capabilities. Create new users. From setup, enter users in the quick find box, then select users. Click new user and fill in the details for Maya Lorette. First name, Maya. Last name, Lorette, alias, Mlo. Email, enter your own email address. Username, mlorettaowbiolus78.com. Nickname, Mlorette. Title, accounts receivable. Department, sales. User license, Salesforce platform. Profile, standard profile, not delete. Role, Western sales team. Time zone, Pacific time. America, Los Angeles. Locale, English, United States. Language, English. Click Save and New to add another user, Ted Kim, following similar steps. Creating users with specific profiles ensures they have the right access levels for their roles. Manage user licenses. In a trailhead playground, licenses are limited. To free up licenses, navigate to Users in Setup. Click Edit next to Maya Lorette. Deselect the active checkbox to deactivate Maya's user license. Confirm by clicking OK, then save. Repeat the same steps to deactivate Ted Kim. Deactivating unused users frees up licenses for new users, ensuring efficient license management. Assign licenses to new users. With licenses now available, create new users, Noah Larkin and Amy Daniels, by clicking new user and filling in the details as specified. Assigning licenses to the right users ensures they have access to the necessary Salesforce features. Step three, allow a user to delete accounts. Using permission sets, navigate to permission sets. From setup, enter permission sets in the quick find box and select permission sets. Permission sets allow for granular control over user permissions without altering profiles. Create a new permission set. Click new and complete the create screen. Label, delete accounts, description, grants, delete accounts permission, user license, Salesforce platform, click save. Creating a dedicated permission set for deleting accounts ensures only authorized users have this capability. Configure object permissions. In the new permission set, go to the app section, click object settings and select accounts. Click edit. Select the delete checkbox under object permissions. Click save. Enabling the delete permission here allows us to assign it selectively to users who need it. Assign the permission set to Noah Larkin. In the permission set, click manage assignments. Click add assignments and select Noah Larkin. Click next, then assign and finally done. Assigning the permission set grants Noah the ability to delete account records as needed. Test the permission. In setup, go to users. Click login beside the name Noah Larkin. Log in as Noah Larkin to verify the permissions. Click the app launcher and select account. Select an account and ensure the delete button is available. Click log out as Noah Larkin. Testing ensures that the permission set works as intended, providing the necessary access without overstepping. Return to the trailhead to confirm your challenge. Today, we learned how to create new user profiles tailored to specific job roles, restrict delete permissions to ensure data security, set up login access policies for enhanced control, and assign permissions using permission sets. These steps are essential for maintaining a secure and efficient Salesforce environment, ensuring that users have the right access to perform their jobs effectively without compromising your data integrity. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce tips and tutorials, and ring the bell so you never miss an update. We'd also love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation. Thank you for joining me today. Keep up the great work on your Salesforce journey, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay declarative.